no flagging dog. Been snapping dog. And on Zeta to the feet up, I be zigzagging dog. Little YouTube family, man. With unfortunate news, uh, I got breaking news, man. Gonzo was killed in Seattle um, early this morning. Yeah, sorry, maybe it was 13 hours ago. You know, I'm about to get into it. First of all, I want to say rest in peace to that man family. Uh, you meant a lot to us. First time I ever heard of Gonzo was through the great Tupac who brought him along with the outlaws. Um, you know, like it's a, it's, it's a lot, man. I heard Bosco 100 talking about it and he's right, man. 2020 was bad, but 2021 looked like they trying to defeat 2021. I mean 2020. 2021 is, is starting off real bad and it continued going bad. Uh, and y'all probably like, why I'm even doing a video about it. I ain't no clout chaser, man. <clears throat> I actually had a situation going on with Gonzo behind the scenes, man. And Gonzo was a real one. Being that, you know, I just want to show this. Look, y'all, if y'all want to know, I talked to the man behind the scenes. Gonzo was a real one. We were supposed to do an interview. We were supposed to work on it. You know what I mean? He started sending me things. I knew about Gonzo fighting Bosco before anybody knew about it. These are the promotion flyers we were supposed to do. I just went, look, hey, Bosco, if you're looking at this, King, you know I rock with you too. I talked to you in real life first. All the way back in 2017 to now. So shout out to Bosco 102, man. Um, th this one is a tough one, man. It's a hard one. You know what I mean? To lose somebody like that. And be before I get started with how he died, let me, let me let Bosco 100 explain some of it. You know what I mean? Like I just, I I'm actually lost for words, man. My kids play sports, so. I'm doing my fatherly things and I get the news from my twin brother was like, yo, man, Bosco lost. I mean, I'm Bosco. I mean, not Bosco, but he said Gonzo lost his life. And I'm like, what you mean? Yeah, it's a tough one, man. Yeah, Like, I, I, I'm, y'all can go look at the rest of Bosco's um, full video. It will be in the description box. But um, basically, you know, he was in um, one of his favorite spots in Seattle yesterday. And he was chilling there, was in the studio doing his thing. And apparently, 
the bowling alley got the best wings. I, I ain't knocking them. I know some of y'all gonna be trolls. Why would you worry about to go get some wings? At, bruh, I go to strip clubs like in Magic City and, and things like that to go get my wings, bruh. Like, folks in them go to the unique places to eat the best food. So don't worry about why that man went to go get some good chicken at the bowling alley. But apparently, like you heard Bosco and the police reports, he got an altercation. You know, the cameraman who, who, who films for Gonzo's the one saying this and, um, you know, he, the dude who he got the altercation with allegedly walked, because I'm going to say everything's allegedly unless we were there. Um, He walked outside and he popped my boy Gonzo three times, man. This shit is tough for me a little bit. I ain't going to be fake like I'm crying or nothing, but I'm like, I was supposed to do an interview with this nigga. I kept, I kept, you know, making excuses not to do it. I'm going to be real with you like, Gonzo, I ain't going to even be fake, bro. A lot of the things is personal things I got in my own life. A lot of you celebrities with the blue checks, Y'all never asked me for money or anything, and I salute y'all. Y'all just be like, you can get this interview. All these times I don't have these big interviews is my fault, y'all, because I keep saying I'm cool with them. I can just do it at a later date, later date. Let me knock on wood. You never know if you'll even have the opportunity for a later, bruh. Gonzo losing his life like that recklessly, dog, bro. Our folks is kind of emotional. But at the same time, I don't know what Gonzo said to the dude. So I don't want to get in a holier than thou type of speech. You know what I mean? I don't want to be making it look like it was just Gonzo, an innocent victim here. I still don't know what's going on, but I would have to call him the victim. You know what I mean? He's the one who got popped. I'm pretty sure they ain't see gun residues on him. And somebody did call my guy lacking because. If it's a spot, you just go in there to get some, some some chicken to eat, bro. Apparently, it is lacking or not being prepared enough. Like, if I ever get in a heated situation with a dude, off the rip, I think they're going to pop me. I'm, I'm just being real. That's how much paranoia and PTSD I got. Not just military, but through the neighborhoods I come from. Off the rip, I always think the unexpected. And people might call me a scary dude for that. But I am scary. I ain't going to even hold you on that. I'm so scared of folks. For the last 15 years, I've been scary as hell. And being scary like that keep me on my P's and Q's. You know what I mean? The military told me stay alert, stay alive, because you got to do this and be ready to die. I ain't ready to die. So I do the opposite. I stay alert and I stay alive. Facts. Like, I, I don't want to preach what he should have done and could have done. A lot of us could get caught slipping. You know what I mean? So it's one of them situations I got to wait furthermore for more information. But, like, the information ain't going to bring Gonzo back. You know what I mean? That's why I'm, I'm sticking to the Gonzo dying part than trying to be a detective agent and solving the murder or whatever. It's just one of them things, bro. It's a little too much, bro. Like, I'm doing this video within minutes after getting the message. I'm about to show y'all something. Um, why I like my man's gone so bro. I'm gonna show you his last Instagram. Hold on, two days ago. There's a motherfucker you trust that put that knife in your back. Yeah, you could act like that day one shit really matter or keep ski poling each nigga on the side of you if you want to. Stop acting like these bitches you calling sus don't wanna fuck your man. And you know your girl got that fat ass. So every time you wanna play kid and invite niggas over to your house to play PlayStation and she walk past with that fat doo-doo maker, you know niggas is like... Nigga, wake your game up. One thing's for sure, two things for certain. It's always a motherfucker you trust that put that knife in your back. Yeah, you could act like that day when shit really matter. Man. Keep ski pulling each nigga on the side. Rest in peace, Gonzo. I, sure, I, I ain't gonna lie, that's kinda shysty, bruh. It feel weird, it feel awkward, you know what I mean? I'm trying to see if I could get like a, a regular IG thing he did. That's longer. Hold on. What y'all doing? Okay, he he don't do a lot of them, but damn, Gonzo. Yeah, this one's gonna be tough. I ain't gonna even hold y'all on that. That one is gonna be tough, man. Like, I mean, it's kind of eerie, right? He talks about folks around you will backstab you, educational purpose. I just want to know, was this honestly, I know Gonzo telling the story, I mean, I'm Bosco telling the story about the cameraman breaking it down to him, but was the dude really a stranger he just got it into? Cause y'all talk about the altercation and all that, but I want to know deeper things in it, like the altercation he got into, is this somebody that know him? It just can't be a random stranger like that. I done been in a lot of Heated situations with random strangers. The most they'll get to is probably a fight, if even that. Cussing each other out might get brolic, but y'all aren't really trying to, you know, get into each other like that. So when I see a personal like that, a nigga follows you and shoot three shots, that's something deeper than just, it's just me. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but it feels a little bit more 
venom and venom is behind it than a stranger that just rolled out he seen gonzo it seemed like animosity even if gonzo didn't know the dude what if the dude knew gonzo what if it's a you know a certain message to be made and sent that night like it, it, like i know y'all gonna say i'm wildin but hey the world we live in today bro don't i don't put nothing past nobody gang i'm just let y'all know what it is i don't put nothing past nobody Look, man, rest in peace to that man, Gonzo, and his family. It's a tough one, man. Look, I'm your God bless one, DJ underscore bless one. Find me at DJ underscore bless one. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed. I'm blessed. And to my twin brother, man, thank you for that message. Um, Yeah, Gonzo was a real one, bro. I rock with this dude heavy, heavy. It's, it's a tragedy to be all honest with y'all. Blessings to the kings and queens, man. Sad. Dog. And I'm Zito to the Frito, I be zigzagging, dog.